The Mosquito Bite That Changed Olu's Life by Uchechi Mba Uzoku Illustrated by Mudasser M. Abed Olu lived with his parents and sisters in a big house in Oweri, the capital city of Imo State, east of Nigeria. Olu was the son of very successful parents who owned a big technology company in the city. This enabled them to give Olu and his sisters everything they wanted all the time. Being the only son in a typical Igbo family, Olu got more than his sisters did and that made him very spoiled and lazy. He played video games on the TV and his tablet all day, every day, in his very messy room. Olu, get out of bed now said his mom one morning. Clean your room, brush your teeth, take a shower and join your sisters at the breakfast table so you can be on time for school, she added. But mom, I'm sick, Olu replied grumpily. Olu didn't do any chores at home. He also skipped school sometimes by lying to his parents that he was sick, only to stay home and play his video games. His sisters got so mad, but what could they do? His parents were too busy to listen, and Olu simply stuck his tongue out at his sisters. One of Olu's sisters stomped her feet. I wish Olu would stop being so lazy, she exclaimed. That night, the weather was chilly, and the full moon lit up the sky. The animals made musical sounds, and the stars shone bright like diamonds some even shooting across the sky as Olu lay in bed fast asleep, dreaming of video games. It was then a big fat mosquito perched on Olu's face and gave him a big bite right on the end of his nose. Olu smacked his face, but the mosquito was already gone. When Olu woke up, the bite stung and itched so much that he started scratching his face and couldn't stop. The more he scratched the mosquito bite, the bigger the bump grew. It grew bigger and bigger until it got so huge, his nose looked like a balloon. Olu, get out of bed. It's time to go to school, his mom called. Mom, I can't go to school looking like this, his sisters giggled. Olu stuck his tongue out at them and wished he could forget his bite and play video games all day. Olu's mom tried putting ice, ointments, water and everything she could think of, but the bump would not go away. Well, Olu, I'm afraid you must go to school anyway. You have missed too many days. So off Olu went with a big red bump on the end of his nose. Everyone laughed. Look who comes to school now with a great big nose, they teased. No matter what his parents did, the bump would not go away. In fact, the more video games Olu played, the bigger the bump grew. Even after visiting the doctor. Then, one night as Olu was asleep, the same mosquito came humming in his ear. Buzz! Olu woke up. Hey! You, mosquito, why did you bite me? Look at my face. See the huge bump on my nose? To this, the mosquito replied, Yes, I bit you because I wanted you to wake up and take your life back and stop being lazy. You don't like the bump? Let's make a deal. If you wake up every day and ditch the video games, clean your room, go to school, make good grades, and be kind to your sisters. In the next few weeks, that huge bump on your nose will disappear. Olu groaned. No video games? He asked. No video games, the mosquito answered. Okay, Mr. Mosquito. I guess I will have to give this a try then, replied Olu. The next few weeks, Olu woke up on time every day, fixed up his room, did his chores, ditched the video games, made good grades and was kind to his sisters. 
Miraculously, the bump went away. Olu was so happy and over the moon, he barely missed his video games at all. And he even helped his sisters with their chores. Together, Olu and his sisters laughed and played outside too. His parents couldn't believe it, but the mosquito could. He knew that all Olu needed was a little reminder that small changes can wake up even the laziest of boys. The end. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe and come back again.